Hey guys, it's May May with a new trusty sidekick today. Hello. It's not who you're expecting. It's it's old Shannon. Hello. Not O Shannon, as if you were Irish. Old Shannon, as if you're like, well, it's old Shannon. We look not old Shannon. You're young Shannon. You're young Shannon. I gave Vinny the day off. When I say I gave Vinny the day off, I literally mean this is what happened. I was getting dressed. We had the worst night, and he already wasn't feeling great yesterday. And so I was getting dressed this morning, and he got up, which I was not expecting. I thought he was going to say, I'm taking the day off. So he comes in, and I said, nope, not today. You are taking the day off. And he said, no, if I take the day off, I want to go do something. No, that's not what I'm giving you. No, 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 no. I'm telling you this. Stay home and chill. Because he's got a busy weekend ahead of him, and I'm like, no. So anyway, that's where Vinny is. He's home. He's not sick. He's just resting. He's just been running. So that's all there is to it. All right, let's talk about what we're making today. We are going to attempt to do, this is a, what I have in my hand is a prototype and it's not very cute. I'm <laughs> just going to be honest with you. I, okay, so a lot of, I know replay viewers are going to hate this. Just skip forward. But we had a really bad night in Alabama. A lot of storms, really bad storms to the point that they um, moved our schools open in two hours. So we went ahead and moved the store open in two hours so that the girls could get their kids to school and things like that. And I was glad we did because I have a dog that's scared of storms. It was like having a newborn infant all night long. She was miserable. So we were awake all night. So when I got here this morning, I spent about 30 minutes and threw this together. This is what I wanted to do. But I just had to do a test. So it is just a test, and we're going to make the real deal. So there you go. There's the backstory. By the way, these are dark chocolate hearts. Tanil bought these. That explains it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tanil yeah. likes dark chocolate. We might eat one. I don't know. I we'll won't. see. I might get you two. I doubt I will. You're no. going to be like, no, you won't. I'm Love you. But no. All I right. I want to eat all Tanil's candy. You just save it for Tanil. You're I'll so kind. All right. I'm going to try something different on this one. On the first one, what I did was I just stamped it and also mirror stamped with VersaFine and my Waffle Flower Media Mat, which I'm going to do on this one. But I think I'm going to clear emboss this one because I want to color. I'm too close. Because I want to color with alcohol markers. So I'm just going to cut myself a strip of um, cardstock big enough for my stamp. There we go. We're good. And um, what I'm wanting to do here is I'm wanting to make sure that I keep my straight edges on my cardstock. And I like, I found having this long strip makes mirror stamping on the waffle flower mat easier. I'll show you what I mean. A lot of you guys love learning how to do this. If you don't have a media mat, we currently have them on sale in the store. Everything in the store is 25% off right now. Well, not everything. There's a few things that aren't. Um, clubs. Let me think. I'll do it real quick. Clubs. Gina Marie dies. Bargain bin items. Oh, no, nope, we did those too. So I think that's it. I can't, I think that's it. But this media mat is 25% off right now. And this is actually um, for watercolor crafting or whatever. But we, us stampers have found a way to use it for ourselves. So we're going to mirror stamp in this corner. All right. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my VersaFine um, Tuxedo Black. And that's why we're going to also emboss because I want to be able to color with alcohol markers without smearing it. And this ink is not known to be one that won't smear. It's not one that I like to use when I alcohol marker color. But when you're mirror stamping, it's really the way to go because you need it to be juicy. And this is juicy. So what we're going to do, have you ever seen mirror stamping, Shannon? This is cool. I don't think, so. I don't think, I think you've ever done this with you around. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our little Volkswagen. I'm going to take my glasses off so we do it correctly. We're going to stamp our little Volkswagen in this corner. And here's what I've done. I'm using the bottom of my um, block to help me line up. There's a little bit of a lip on the waffle flower mat. You can see where I'm kind of pressing that. And then I'm just going to roll this down into place. And then just touch it. Don't do this and don't do this and don't wiggle. Just touch it. You're just wanting that ink to transfer to your media mat. So when we do that, it stays wet. Make sense? It stays wet. Look how pretty. It's pretty like that because we use the VersaFine. You need a good juicy pigment ink, okay? Now, remember I told you you want to keep that straight edge over here? I'm going to take that straight edge and using this little lip, I'm going to press it against that lip and put my fingers on it and just let my page roll down onto the image and I'm going to run my hand across it. What you don't want to do is nah, 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 right? You just want to gently let that paper pick up that image. Why am I mirror imaging? I probably should have said this because I want it to face in both directions. Okay, so there we go. Now, and the reason, 
The reason I like to do this strip like this is because look, I can come down here and pick it up without even disturbing my image. And look, now here's, here's the thing that's going to, it's going to show if it's going to work or not. I want to try to heat emboss it. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. And the reason I don't is because I don't know if it's going to stay wet enough since I did it from the media mat. And I wasn't really prepared for this. So we're just going to use this piece of paper, which I've got notes on. And I'm going to try to sling this on quick. And I didn't even powder this page. I really don't care because I'm going to alcohol marker. So it doesn't matter. And I'm going to cut it out. So if it sticks where it shouldn't, it's really not a big deal. Um, it's sticking though. That's good. I'm going to have to go off camera and blow this off. Always like to do that a little bit. All right. So I did that quick. Now I will tell you this. I've done a test with the VersaFine Claire colors. They will emboss for up to five minutes. Literally. I cannot believe it. You stamp them and can rub your hand over them and they don't go anywhere. Like the ink doesn't move, but you can literally emboss them for up to five minutes. I don't know about the Onyx Black. I haven't tried it. Now let's do this. I'm going to heat this up and here's the deal. I'm going to preheat it. I want it to be hot for a while. I'm going to turn it on. I don't think it'll mess with me because I got the, I think y'all still be able to hear me, but I'm literally going to let this heat up for a good 30 seconds or so. So it's a good time for a question. Um, somebody asked what the code was, the discount code. It's um, moving 25 to um, where are your pretty nails at. <laughs> you know where they're at? I took them off one day with the intention of putting on my brand new set that I got from Lacey and haven't put them on yet. And I needed to trim them down. You have what? I have another. I bought four packs. And, and haven't put them, put them on, on yet. yet. I'm going to. Sometimes I like a little break. All right, let's heat this. It's going to warp some. Mine, it always says, oh, I used white. Oh, uh, I picked up white instead of clear. I'm going with it. And that means I'll need to do the other one, too. That's okay. We can handle it. So Just see me bang my head against the mirror? I mean, the microphone? Probably not. Yeah. It's, been my, it's been my day. It's been my experience. The Mondiest Thursday ever. This is the Mondiest Thursday ever. So be sure you use clear and not white. Pay attention. <laughs> Let me show y'all in my defense. For people who don't hate emboss. Let's see. How do I get it where y'all can see it? Um, this one's clear. Let's do it like this. This one's clear. This one's white. They're that close they're to each other, white. right? Yeah, they're both white powder. I'm supposed to read and I didn't. You're <laughs> off the hook. I'm supposed to read and I did not. So there we go. So we'll do this in white too. It's okay if it has white lines. Can It'll I be do cute. Mirror stamping on laminated paper. You can try it. I've tried other things and things work. But what I love about the uh, media mat, what I feel like makes it worth work, is it doesn't slip and slide around like other things. Like acetate, I've done it on acetate. I've done it on packaging for some reason the media mat and i think it's the just the siliconiness of it and it, and the mat of it and the matte finish of it keeps it from slipping around as bad acetate has such a glossy finish or plastic has such a glossy finish that it does that but of course use what you got use they what you got i'm echoing you are i turned you up because i was afraid you were whispering so let's turn you back down. Turn me down she's a whisperer so i turned her up a little bit um she's not really a whisperer she just doesn't yell like i do <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to yell. <laughs> so anyway, yes, you can use um, those other other things. And there's videos all over YouTube. I have a video on it. I just find that the media mat, I think it's because of the matte finish, honestly, just does such a great job. That's cute, Kathy. Kathy Irvin said her three-year-old said, who is that when he didn't see Benny? <laughs> oh, that is cute. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I just told him he's taking the day. Sometimes you just need to. And he doesn't. He's, if he's not here, he's working somewhere else and doing what he's, he's always running. Yesterday, y'all, he was like, I'm not even putting on jeans. He doesn't do that. He put on sweatpants and came to work. He doesn't, you ever seen him in sweatpants? No. You didn't even see him in sweatpants when we went to Texas and stayed in the no. house together. Right. He didn't do that. I'm like, no, you're taking a day off. You're done. <laughs> you, resorted to sweatpants? This is, yeah, this Hang is on. your stopping point. <laughs> you need to break. All right, let's do this one in white also. I can't believe I did that. It'll probably be okay. Watch, it may be cuter. But the reason I'm doing the embossing is because I don't want the ink to smear. So this kind of seals it in. So now my alcohol markers won't, won't smear the ink. It almost looks silver from but over now, here. But no, y'all can't see it. You can. 
you can see it. And as I color. All right, so I'm going to be coloring, which means there'll be lots of times for questions. So if you guys have had questions lately, now's the time. Or if you have, you know, let's chat. I want to do a red doodle bug this time. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. 323 days till Christmas. <sighs> Garrett's in the room, Whitney. <laughs> Well, it was that he is, but it was Kathy. No, he started it. He started it. Sorry. Hey, G. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If you guys don't go and look at Garrett's um, the the card he did using sandpaper and our little snowman to make um, like a like a seasonal card that's not traditional. I don't know how to say it. He took the snowmen and they were tan and the snow banks they were on, he made them look like surfboards and they were in the water oh my God. and it's so cute. And I'm like, this is the cutest video and he did such a good job. Y'all need to go watch it. Gareth, can you link it? If you can't, Shannon might could find it if I give her some direction. Marianne wants to know why not use Memento or Finesse. Because Memento and Finesse are water-based, not pigment-based. And when wanting to do mirror stamping, you won't get a very good image with that. You can do that. You just won't get a very good image. You need that pigment to sit on your on the piece that you're going to um, be picking the image up from. And I have to be super careful on this one since I did it in white. Not to color over my embossing. <laughs> so I'm going to be a minute, y'all. Y'all care if we just color the front one? I don't want to do that. I like to see a finished product finished. You know? I yep. like to see the whole thing. We'll do our darndest. We'll see what happens. The new store from the Made It Con site is like two miles, maybe? Mm -hmm. It's closer. It's, yeah, it's a lot closer a than lot we are closer. now. I mean, significantly. Like, I mean... There's a, we'll show y'all a back way and it takes no time. We'll have a little map for you guys. Michelle Blue got her plane tickets, rented Ooh. a car and hotel rooms. She's it. ready. Con. She's ready. Slow down. We're not. <laughs> Michelle, where are you coming from again? Remind me where you live. I want to say Texas. I don't think that's right. I don't think I'm right about that. This is kind of cute in the white, actually. It's a pain. Don't do it, y'all. <laughs> Don't do it. Do it with the black so you can color faster. Because, you know, the alcohol marker will stain your um your embossing. Although, I think you can wipe it off with squeaky clean afterwards. I think you can put it on a rag and kind of get it off. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to color it and be done with it. Did you say it was less slippery stamping onto the mat? Yes, because the mat has a matte finish. I'm saying matte a lot, but the M-A-T... Has an M-A-T-T-E finish. Gotcha. That's what I'm trying to say. So, the media mat. And I think that helps. Cause I, But I've done it with the acetate and stuff. Y'all, I've got videos where I've done it. Y'all can check that out. I think I have a weenie dog one where I did it with Trixie's Valentine stamp set. And um, it works, but you have to have a steady hand. And you know, you know what I don't have? A steady hand. I shake. I'm a shaker. They say I still have an echo. I don't know. Get in that mic. Uh, is that better? When you talk, make sure you're in it. Because it may be picking up everything around you when you're talking. All right. So, got the fender on this one to do. And then I'm going to do the other little guy, too. Get that in there. The good thing about red is when you're coloring with red, you can kind of let it bleed into the lines. So that's kind of what I'm doing to try to stay off of the white. Because I want the white to stay there. That's looking pretty dang cute. Yes, it is. It's kind of like magic coloring. It's appearing. <laughs> oh, I could have just inks, inked it. <laughs> I could have just, you know, uh, distressed inked it and then wiped off the... Wiped off. <laughs> since I did it in white. Yeah. But in my mind, I wanted to color with markers. It's kind of cute. It'll look more valentine because of the red and white. Which is kind of what I'm going for. Well, it will be here Friday. Next Friday. Can you believe it? No. Before we know it. Are you prepped to give your sweetie a, a prize? No. My sweetie likes expensive things, so I'm not even thinking about it. I have to be honest. We'll prob we're will we going to dinner because we our church is having a, th a steak dinner. I may be echoing because I'm not in the mic. Um, but our church is having a steak dinner that night, so that'll be nice. Our pastor does that just to say thank you. He makes, he, he doesn't charge us or anything. He just makes steak for us that day. Isn't that nice? That is very nice. Yep. He'll be there cooking all day long. We need to give him something special for that. 
He gets to put up with us all the time. Isn't that special? Yes. He gets to put up with us, which is about the truth. Sherry, she's using Nuvo markers. And the color I'm using is plum tomato. Or plum tomato. Which one is it? Tomato or tomato? Tomato. Hey, did you guys hear our good news at the shop? Y'all think moving is the good news. We have some better news. We told it the other day on a wreath video, but if you guys don't watch the wreath videos, you may not know that I'm expecting Amber to have a baby. <laughs> I love that joke. Surprise! We're expecting Amber to have a baby. She's going to have a little one. We're going to have a brand new Meme family member. I'm so excited. And um, what she's doing August? August. Yep. So we'll have a new little baby come around in August. That also means y'all going to have to get used to somebody new filling in for Amber while she's on maternity leave. So go ahead and start prepping yourself because I know you guys love your Amber. Y'all yes. going to struggle without your yes, Amber. Yes, we do. <laughs> go ahead and start prepping. Do you like these markers better than the Spectrum Noir? I enjoy these better for a couple reasons. One, the price. That's my first thing. And the second is I like this bullet nib. Um, but I enjoyed my Spectrum Noir. I just felt like for the price... I get pretty much the same thing here. Also, the other thing is, although Spectrums come in like a, um, is it a six pack or a five pack? I forget how they come. But these come in a three pack of colors that you can use to blend together. They kind of do that work for you. And I really like it. And these regular price are only like $5.99 a pack. And you can get them on 25% off this week. Yeah. Now, I will tell you, Amanda told me, she's like, I'm nervous about putting those markers on sale. I was like, why? She said, because they've gotten a little hard to come by lately. Um, with our distributors and our, um, you know, where we get them from. And she's like, so what do you want to do? I said, well, we're going to put them on sale anyway, because I love them and y'all want them. And it's a good time to get them. So grab them now. And for those of you who don't know, 25% off is the equivalent to buy three, get one free. Yes. If you buy three, one of the, you know what I'm saying? So it is. now's the time. Vince taught me that. I didn't know. I told you I don't do math. And I was like, what? He said, it's the same thing, babe. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Is he watching today? I wondered if he would watch. I haven't seen him. He'll have to chat if he's in there. He'll say hello. I would let him watch and chat with y'all, but not get up and get dressed and come in. Then he said, would you care if I do laundry? I'm like, no. Ever <laughs> of course no. not. You can do laundry anytime. You can even cook supper. Hey, I didn't think about that one. No, I like to do that. Because, you know, we're doing HelloFresh again. I've told y'all before I love HelloFresh. This is not sponsored. I just love HelloFresh. Um, and I enjoy cooking it. When I get home at the end of the day, it's so mindless. You just kind of you just kind of get the recipe out and follow it. And it's kind of nice to kind of unwind and make the food. And then you feel so accomplished because as a non-chef, it makes me feel very accomplished. You're going to have this stamp release video today. Yes, we are. Regular time, 3 p.m. Regular time, 3 mm -hmm. o'clock p.m. 3 p.m. All right. I feel like I'm missing something there in the front, but it's hard for me to see because of what I did to it with the white, but that's okay. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, let's do some black. It needs some black. Oh, wait. I missed this back part. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's so cute. It really is cute with the white. But if I were going to do this again with the white, I would just distress ink it. I would just put some ink on top of an ink blending tool and just go over it, you know, and make it super cute like that. All right. Do I have black over here? We'll just do a dark gray. Because I pulled these over to do some other coloring and I just don't use the ones I got. I was coloring on today's stamp set on the reveal. So I'm just using the same colors I was using there. Oh, it's awful cute. It is kind of cute, ain't it? This color's going a little brown. It's not very black. I may have to turn around and get my black. Or maybe these are just old tires. <laughs> it's going to have a blowout. They're old and distressed and not quite as black as they used to be. All right, there's your tires. And I'm leaving the white walls because I like the white walls. Let's do a, sin, a silver or a gray center. What's the palest one I have over here? Deborah wants to know if you've ever tried Art Artseta markers. Arteza? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Arteza. Arteza. No, I haven't. I have never tried those. I um, 
they contacted me a while back about sending me some stuff and I just, I don't do sponsored videos, so I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. So I've never tried them. I think Edith has and I think uh, Ken Hess does. I think they use them. That didn't go silver either. It's all right. We're going with it. We're going with it. I didn't do these tires. I'm forgetting things. I'm forgetting things, Shannon. Oh. Not unusual lately. Show Hall asked if she missed the stencil release on the 5th. Do you know what she is talking about? I don't do stencils. I don't know what that is, Joe. Um, could it have been Christopher's? I saw he just released some stencils. He released a bundle. I wonder if it was him. Oh, Michelle Blue is coming from California. California. She said, what can she bring you? Um, from California? Well, what's something that I want from out there that I can't get here? Can you bring some in and out <laughs> Can you bring me some animal, fr animal fries? What about animal fries? Next time we go to Texas, I'll introduce you. Okay. Yeah, we'll take you to in and out It's it's good, but the problem's going to be you're like, it's not a bur it's not a burger like we eat, but their fries are really good. And th look, that's controversial, by the way. That is controversial. Hey, I'm fixing to be controversial too and do a pink convertible. I like red and pink. Yeah. Um. Like my son and daughter in law lived out there. You know, we went. And we tried um in and out, and I was like. It's good, but like we have five guys, and that's a really good burger. You know, like we have some good yeah. burgers here, so it didn't really shock me, but it we is good. It. We might have eaten it in and out. You might have while you were there? Yeah. We ate at some burger place that we don't have here. Well, they have several that we don't have here, I mean, in Texas. Yeah. What do we want? Is C's candy in California? Because I thought. Caramel. But I saw that they do a cinnamon candy for Halloween. I mean, for Halloween for Valentine's. That would be fun to try. Whoever sent those caramel things they sent? Yeah. Oh, those things were amazing. That was Julie from Colorado. It was like a caramel-covered marshmallow. To me, they oh. tasted like caramel cake. They, they were, were so good. Do y'all have C's candy? Um, I think they might have a C's candy out there. All right, let's do the little hand door handle. Door handle. What else? Let's do these. The mirrors and the silver up here. Oh, Michelle said it would be cold. <laughs> <laughs> it would be gross. Yeah. She said yes on C's candy. Well, I wouldn't mind trying that um that cinnamon candy they've got out right now. It's I just saw it on an advertisement somewhere. I don't even know where I saw it. I think I'm gonna try to use this color yeah on top of this. I like it better. That other color went a little beige. All right, we're fixing it to the fussy cutting part. That's the part that everybody loves, right? What stamp set is this? This one's called God is on the Move is the name of this little stamp set. It's so cute. All right, so let's do some fussy cutting. Going to be a little harder since I did it um, in white. I'm so disappointed in myself. I was so excited to see this done with the black edges. Just means I got to do another one. No, Amanda, I don't know. It, didn't, it doesn't say on his... Um, class description if they need to bring their markers or not if it doesn't say in the supply section then you shouldn't need to if it doesn't say to bring them yeah it you don't need says to bring them. them they make it yeah then you won't need them um i think he's going to be using some new markers he's got it seems like when he made that class he was like i've got some stuff releasing and i think that's why he was um doing that particular class um but if it you only need to bring what it says on your kit or what it says in the supply list and for that one it just says the kit um, I always like fussy cutting embossed images better than non-embossed. They're always easier to cut. And the white is no different. Even though it's hard to see, it's really no different. It kind of keeps your scissors in line. And no, Kelly, Amber doesn't know if she's having a boy or a girl yet. We um, may know soon, but we don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm sure she'll let everybody know once she finds out, but we don't know yet. I will tell you she's collecting girl names. She hasn't picked one out yet. So if y'all have any suggestions, she is open to suggestions. She's got her boy name and it's adorable and we're not sharing the name yet. But she is still deciding on a girl name. So if you guys have any ideas, she will take suggestions. We did that the other day. That's cute, y'all. The white is cute. 
isn't it? I think I'm going to distress it to make it even look a little different. But I think it's super cute. Let's cut it this is. one out. Aren't y'all excited our family's growing? We have, you know, I have a baby coming in March. Some people don't know that. We have, um, we have Emmy. Her name is going to be Amelia K. Starts with an E. And her middle name is K, K-A-Y. And she will be coming, well, she's due end of March. But when Sam goes to the doctor, they tell her she's, um, what is it called, weighing or? She's measuring. Two weeks early. Along. Yeah, she's measuring two weeks further along than they think. I would love it if she would come in February, but that, I mean, healthfully in February. Because we don't have a February baby at all. She needs to come March 24th. No, she doesn't need to come March yeah. 24th. Then the 23rd. Because I have enough March babies. <laughs> I have got, uh, I've got Joe. I'm going to do them in order. Joe, Jared, Josh, and Granddad all in March. And then me. And, and you. And, and Amanda's in March. And the thing is, we had, um, when the kids were little and we did birthday parties, we still do a sort of a party. We get together. We had one every week. Every yeah, week. Because they didn't want to combine them. No, nobody wants to. But we combined one year and it was the best year ever. Because what we did is instead of spending all the money on one party, we combined and spent a little more on one good party. And yeah. we had this thing that was, um, you could have a video game truck come to your house. So they played video games in this truck that parked out front. And then in the backyard, they set up laser tag in your yard. That's cool. Those kids love that. And you know what? It really wasn't as expensive as you would think it would be. But it was more expensive than we could do for every one of them. You know, yeah. you get it once. That's it. I'm going to try this. I'm going to be sad about it. I'm just going to tell you all right now. Um, I know for a fact that I have knocked my embossing tool off. And where did she go? Um, I don't see her. Maybe I picked her up. I don't see her. I picked anymore. her up yesterday. Here she is. And later right there. Here she is. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be sad about it. I'm just telling you right now. I'm going to be sad about this. So you may not want to do it. I just want to see how it'll turn out. Kathy, my birthday is March 24th. She's a March baby. Josh's is the 23rd and mine's the 24th. Mm, 25th. 25th. Sorry. Mm, that's all right. 25th. 25th. 25th and 24th because last year they shared their birthday we got to lunch. share our birthday. <clears throat> Her first birthday lunch she had to share with Josh. It's okay. It's not too bad. He's not a bad one to share with. No, he's a good one. So, that's not so bad. I don't hate it. I didn't do it very heavy. Um, oh, they're pretty. I just thought to add a little bit of something. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Stop bending that car, May May. Okay. Not a wreck. <laughs> stop doing it. All right, let's assemble it. This is the easy part. Um... Here's what you'll need to do that with. You will need a piece of cardstock, your scoreboard, and your bone folder. Now, this piece of cardstock I'm going to do to make the middle section. Let me tump this out to show you what we're making. We're going to be making the box, this little part right here, which I would probably do that in a color, but I did it in white as test. So it would be really cute done in like um, a plaid or something. Wouldn't it be cute like that? Or a little yes. heart paper. So here's the deal. This piece is three and a quarter by... Uh, one and three quarters. Okay, so here's where you're going to score first. On the three and a quarter side, you're going to score it at um, three fourths or three quarters. All right, and then we're going to come out and we're going to score it at two and a half. So you're having you're going to have these three quarter of an inch flaps on the end, and then you're going to put it in your scoreboard. And I want to score it a half an inch in on both my long sides. So I'm going to flip it around. Don't worry, I'm going to bring this up to camera so you can see it. So I've scored it half an inch in. Let me get that where it'll focus. See if turning over will help. No, I'll draw the lines so you can see them. Because if you can't see them, what good does it do you, right? Let's do it again. Nope. So three-fourths. You're going to score it at three-fourths here. You're going to score it at two and a half here. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to score it at half an inch on this side. Okay. Then I'm going to turn this guy around and score it at half an inch again. The reason I turn it around is because I can get to the, not half an inch, it's a quarter of an inch. I just told y'all wrong. It's a quarter of an inch. These are a quarter of an inch in. The reason I do that is because I can get to the quarter of an inch easier out here than in here. If you were left-handed, you could get there easy. Not me. Let's do it again. I want to do a clean one. All right, so three-fourths of an inch, two and a half inches, turn it. A quarter of an inch in on this side, turn it. 
a quarter of an inch in on this side so we can have a clean one for the car. All right. And I'm going to cut my measured one first so y'all can, I mean, my lined one so y'all can see where we're cutting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some V cuts right here where our little score lines cross over. We just need to get a little bulk out of there. All right. So just some V cuts. One there. One here. Everywhere we have the crossover, we're doing that. That's real easy to see with the lines in it. It is. Little crossover. Little crossover. Sounds like a rapper name. A little crossover. A little crossover. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I'm going to do it on this one too that you guys couldn't see. That's funny. <laughs> you know what it is? A new rapper name. Little crossover is like um, his 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 claim to fame is he can do all genres because oh. he's a little crossover. He can do. Does he drive a little crossover SUV? <laughs> yes, he does. And he can do country and then he can cross over to pop. <laughs> he can cross over. I love that. That's his name. Hey, that might be a good name for um, Amber's new baby, a little crossover. <laughs> Let's just call her that. That's stupid. <laughs> I said her. Oh, what does that mean? Uh, you I, refer to a lot of things as hers. I do. Hers and he's, though. I do. Yeah. All right, let me show y'all. I'm not worried too much about, like, making sure I crease this with my bone folder and why. We've talked about this before. I need this to go 90 degrees. I'm not needing it to fold, right? So I'm not too worried about creasing this down. I'm just using this to get a good, clean bend. And that's really all I need. So if you want to use your bone folder to crease it, you can. But there's really no need if you get a good turn, like so. There we go. All right, and then these two little lines here, here's what you're going to do. Just bend them. Because we're going to let them kind of decide where they're going to live. I'll show you what I mean by that. So bring one of our Volkswagens over, turn it upside down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this bottom edge up with this bottom edge. When I glue it down, but these sides, I'm going to kind of let them just go wherever they're hidden. They won't go straight up like a box. They're going to go like a cradle. Does that make sense? What size is that piece of paper you started with? Um, three and a, I said, what, what do I say? I can I measure it remember. again. I'll measure again. Hold on. Um, one, two, three and a half by one, by one and three fourths. I don't even know that I said that. I may not have said it. Three and a half by one and three fourths. Maybe I said it in my brain. Three and a half by but one not and out three loud. Fourths. Yeah, three and a half by one and three fourths. All right, I'm putting glue on all of these flaps. Okay, and again, I'm gonna line this up at the bottom of the Volkswagen, just like that of our little doodle bug. And then on the sides, I'm just gonna let them go where they're hidden. I think this one I need to lift a little bit. This front one is fine. What I mean by that is I just don't want the piece to hang out the side of the I want it to be hidden behind the little bug. So I'm just letting it go where it goes. See that? So it's hidden back there. And it gives you more space to put treats in it. And now this side will be what you want it to be. Just add some glue. Like so. It's still only 1235 and I embossed and colored and everything. Now on this guy, what I'm going to do is line up the bottom. And then I'm just going to stand it up and kind of look at it and make sure we're kind of close. Because if I need to adjust, I want it to stand. So if I need to adjust anything, now's the time. And I definitely have an issue here. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I made the issue worse. Okay. So let's bring this one up a little bit more. All right. Pretty good. By the time we put candy in it, it'll be great. All right. So there's our little Volkswagen car, a little doodle bug. It's so cute, isn't it? And you could decorate it a million trillion different ways. And I want to tell you something. If you're making these for Valentine treats, if you have a scan and cut... Stamp all of them, emboss all of them, and let your scan and cut cut them out. Awesome idea. Mm-hmm. Let's put some candy in it. The real test. Will it haul this candy around? There's a heart. Why do they turn up sound? They're top heavy. The candies are, are top heavy. And I love that Shannon got me an odd number. I said, Shannon, I need some candy for this thing. She said, we have some hearts. There we go. Well, Stack them in. I have to have an odd number or else. They don't stack right. It's true. So we stack them in. You know what would be cute is a, a Reese heart. Are they in a heart shape? They're not in a heart shape package, no. are they? But it'd be cute laid in here. And you, even even cuter is if you took a bag and put like some colorful candy in it and tied it up and then um, sunk that little bag in here to hold your little candy treats. I think that'd be so cute. Why is one of my legs not? Oh. There we go. Your wheels. He got bent a little. <laughs> one of my legs. One of my wheels. Anyway, I just thought it'd be cute. Y'all always seem to like when we turn something into a little 3D container. And I think this will be cute. cute. 
I thought he was cute. I do wish I had done it in the black. Although the white is cute. Looking at it on camera, it's really cute. It kind of looks um, glowy. But the black probably would have been better. Sorry I messed that up. Well, it wouldn't have been black. I could have done it in black. I was going to do it in clear. I just reached up there. Oh, I could have got black. It's right there, too. And Vinny looks funny. Somebody said they came in late. <laughs> he does wow. look funny. He, got, he let his hair grow out. <laughs> That's I'm all not it Vinny. <laughs> all right, guys. That is our little show for today with our little um, doodle bug treat box. I think it's cute. You could even, if you wanted to, extend this piece in the middle out a little bit and take it back and make a hood. I don't think you need it because I think kids will look. Here's the thing about kids. They get it. If you're making this for kids, don't need realism. No. They get it. They know it's a little car. Honestly, they'll just take, take the candy it up, out and throw, the throw this away. away. But the thing is, they How get it. They, but they don't look at something and go, no. well, you don't have that at a 45 degree angle and you don't have that. They don't, they don't do that. Awesome. Well, he might do that. He might. That's true. He might. All right, guys, there is our little doodle bug box. Sorry if that took a minute because I had to do all that crazy color and it wouldn't have taken that long. But you like the pink and the red? I love pink and red together. I love it together. So yes. um, we're going to head to the Crafter After Show where we can talk about anything we want to talk about. And um, we also have a lot of like just newsy stuff to talk about. So we're going to head over there. If you've never been in our show before, this is the Crafter Show we just did where we do a little craft project together. And then in the Crafter After Show, you guys can come in and chat about whatever you want to chat about, ask questions, have a lot of fun. So the link is right there. Amanda just put that in the chat for you guys. So if you want to just click on that, it'll take you right to it. And if you'll give us a couple seconds, we'll be right over there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.